life. I like to live by a motto. That motto being, we're here for a good time, not a long time. Life is pretty dang short, especially for us humans. Even if we lived to be 125 years old on the regular, it would still be considered pretty short and probably pass us by in the blink of an eye. However, for some other creatures on Earth, they don't have to worry as much about their biological clock coming after them. We start this list of long-lived residents with a large one to say the least. The bowhead whale is pretty hefty, coming in at 60 feet in length. Now, while that isn't as large as the blue whale, it does have something over the largest living mammal. That being age, as the blue whale has an average lifespan of 80 to 90 years, while the bowhead has an estimated lifespan of nearly 200 friggin' years old. Yes, the bowhead is considered to be the longest living mammal on Earth, living comfortably beyond 100 years and sometimes even past the age of 200, which is pretty old for an animal that large. They owe this adaptation to a gene named ERCC, which is a gene that helps repair damaged DNA. This helps protect the whale from cancer and also repair its body when it starts to age at certain parts. Either way, this amazing process is what keeps this whale going for so long. I'm really not that surprised here, and yes, mussels, more specifically freshwater mussels, have a pretty long lifespan, going well past 250 years old. This is a big change from the Goliath that is the bowhead, as these little guys are just so friggin' tiny. They subsist by filtering food particles from the water, and mainly lie in freshwater rivers or such. While they may not be that impressive on their own and may go well with some butter or alfredo sauce, it's still weird to think about just how long these little guys can live. Some that were found and studied were reported to be in their early 200s, with the oldest known one being near 280 years old, nearly three centuries. This long life is apparently due to their low metabolism, not needing a terrible amount of sustenance to keep going for so long. A simple lifestyle, but a long-lived one. Tube worms are deep-sea-dwelling invertebrates that sort of look like underwater weeds if you look at them the right way. A lot of our stuff today seems to be related to water, so I guess there's kind of a pattern here. However, there is one particular species of the worm named Escarpia laminata, a native to the Gulf of Mexico that has been found to have a rather long period of life. They can live up to 200 years on the regular, with specimens have been found to be well over 300 years old in some cases. Much like the mollusk before it, this species has a low metabolism and doesn't need much to really keep going. Put that on top of having virtually no predators and no way to get killed other than accidents caused by humans, it's no wonder these little guys are able to live this long. They tend to prefer colder environments and generally keep to themselves. Now this fella here may not live as long as the tube worm, or in some cases as long as the mussels. He's a lot larger though, and well, only slightly more mobile than numbers 2 and 3 on this list. Plus, he does actually live longer than the bowhead, so that accounts for a mention in our vid today. This right here is the giant Galapagos tortoise. Like the name implies, they live primarily in the Galapagos Islands, and are looked at as one of the longest living creatures in general. With an average lifespan of 150 to 250 years, it's pretty easy to see why. One notable individual named Adwaita lived at the Alapur Zoological Gardens and lived to be 255 before he passed on. His diet was wheat, bran, various veggies, and other non-heavy foods. They have the honor of being called the longest living vertebrates, at least by most publications at this point. Having a shark on this list isn't all that surprising. Like crocodiles, these guys are living fossils and have been around collectively since the time of dinosaurs. Species come and species go, but sharks have been an evolutionary constant in the long history of the world. And while an individual themselves may not live to be more than 300, there are some sharks out there that can come pretty dang close to it. Enter in the Greenland shark, native to the Arctic and North Atlantic oceans, and are known to live to 250 on the reg. This is especially impressive as the average lifespan of most shark species is 30 years to 50 in some others, making the usual age for a Greenland over five times that of its brethren. Some individuals have been caught have been theorized to be even older, with the oldest one thought to be 512 years old. Admittedly, that one is highly up for debate. 
However, it has been agreed that if it isn't 500, it's at least in its late 300s, making it still an impressive old-timer. Getting back to our clamshelled friends of the shallow and the deep, we come to the Kohonk Clam. While the previous muscle on this list has an impressive age range, this clam is able to clear twice that age with zero issues. This bivalve is found primarily in the North Atlantic, sitting on the salty sea floor and waiting for small bits of food to filter through it for sustenance. And with this easygoing and still lifestyle, it's able to live well past 500 years old. The oldest one recorded was said to be 507 years old and was fished off the coast of Iceland. Scientists, however, are sure that there are clams out there with lifespans that may even be double that of the standard clam. You got me in trouble. You got me moved to the back of the room. It cost me one of my good noodle stars. Despite what SpongeBob would like to tell you, sea sponges are actually a big group of animals that cluster together to form one large colony in a similar vein to coral. Just a little more gross. And while SpongeBob is a measly 16 years old, most sponges can live to be well over 10,000 years old. This particular vein of sponge, though, can be found in the deep, deep ocean, with fragile skeletons resembling glass. This is a massive jump from our previous entries, but I couldn't keep this guy out of the list. The oldest living organism of this to be discovered thus far was estimated to be nearly 11,000 years old, with scientists speculating different species could actually be older. Before you question it, I'm not talking about the larger-than-life serpent that grows new heads if you cut off one, nor am I talking about the organization from Marvel that just simply refuses to die. Oh no, I'm talking about a small invertebrate that actually has the potential to live forever. Hydras have not shown any sign of age affecting them, with no strands of their cells or DNA rotting inside of them, nor do they show signs of natural aging whatsoever. The only real threat to their basic immortality are predators or disease, but if you take those two out of the equation, they could live to see the end of everything. This happens due to their stem cells being constantly replaced by regenerating or cloning, allowing them to keep going with no signs of stopping. Again, unless they get eaten. We now come to the jellyfish, an animal that's well documented for its long-lived lifestyle. While we are more familiar with the box jellyfish and the man of war, let me tell you about Teratopsis, a being that, like Hydra, is pretty much effectively immortal. The general life cycle for a jellyfish is that they start life as a larvae before turning into polyps. The polyps then branch out to become fully-fledged jellyfish and generally just age until they pass on or are eaten by a turtle or something. Not this one, though, as the Teratopsis is essentially the real-life phoenix. The Teratopsis can turn back to polyps if they are damaged or near death, allowing them to essentially hit the reset button on their own lives. Now, they can certainly die of old age or, of course, be eaten, but they still have a better chance of surviving than most other species at this point simply by kind of respawning themselves. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Now, today's submission is certainly not the oldest living creature, I'm gonna say that right now. It really is difficult to beat virtual immortality from two other entries, but it's still pretty neat in its own right. The Mata Mata Turtle is a freshwater turtle found primarily in the Amazon River Basin, living a rather sedentary life feeding on passerby fish and invertebrates. All in all, the Mata Mata Turtle is a pretty chill turtle who spends its life waiting for its next meal. But that does beg the question, just how old can it live to? Surely not as long as a literal immortal jellyfish, am I right? Well, you'd be right. In fact, it doesn't come close to any of our previous entries, not even having as long a lifespan as most humans. The general lifespan of the Mata Mata is 30 years, less than 50 years the expected lifespan of a typical human. He doesn't live long, but he is still pretty neat to look at. And that is our video for today, folks. I do hope you enjoyed it. What was the coolest long-lived animal to you? Know of any other living animals that we missed? Well, let us know in the comments section down below. And with all that said and done, I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.